Okay, y'all, so this video will be about the power of waiting till marriage. Okay, so um, I did a little research on this. I'm going to try and link some of the links that I read below. Um, but I just want to say, I think that waiting until marriage, whether you're perfect on your celibacy or abstinent journey, um, I don't call it celibacy no more because celibacy means lifelong. Mm, we ain't doing that. I'm abstinent until marriage. I'm waiting till marriage. So that's what I say now. So I do not call it celibacy. I now say that I'm waiting till marriage. Um, or abstinent till marriage. Okay. So I just want to go ahead and pray, y'all. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Heavenly Father. I thank you, God, for this just being a blessing to your people, Lord. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for being the seed sown on good ground, Lord. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for um, whoever this is for, just helping them, Lord. Whoever you may be tucking on their heart, Lord, to start their abstinent journey, to start their waiting till marriage journey, Lord. I thank you, God, for this being the push, just being a push for them, Lord. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, for no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I thank you, God, for we're more than conquerors. I thank you, God, that we can do all things through Jesus Christ, our strength is the Lord. Lord, us Lord in Jesus my name we pray amen okay y'all so I pretty much um I was very curious because um I was just wondering like how many people are are, are are waiting you know in my own personal life I am waiting till marriage to have sex again but it it just seems like there's not a lot of us in my own personal life in my age group you know um, I see a lot of people on social media you know confess that they're waiting till marriage but that's about it my own personal intimate life i don't see a lot of people doing it i feel like a little you know just it's just me but um i was researching it and it said that it was three percent <laughs> three percent of humans are waiting till marriage so hey shout out to us hey gang 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 okay let me get focused so um it's three percent of us and um something that i read in one of the articles was saying that the people who waited their sex lives was better, okay? Um, you know, they just did a study with different couples and stuff, and you know, the people who waited, their sex lives was better. So I believe um, that when you wait, that you have more of a fire and desire, desire and passion for sex. And also when you get married, you're gonna be like, oh my God, like I've been waiting a really long time. You know, like, I don't know, I, I'm trying to like, I guess describe it but um it gives time for pressure to be built you know for instance you know how they say pressure bust pipes you know so it's like while you're waiting you're building pressure and then when you and your spouse finally come together it's like, oh, you know what i'm saying um so you know god may be pushing you right now to um start your abstinent journey wait until marriage you and your you could already be in a relationship and still say hey hey you know what i want to just try and um i just want to try and do things god's way you know hey let's both wait let's both wait to have sex until we're married you know um and hey if god is leading you to do it do it you know do it i believe that there are certain blessings tied like for instance boom i've always believed that my marriage would be blessed through my waiting i read megan good and her husband's book about the wait oh my god it's always encouraged me inspired me read that book y'all but in that book it says you know their marriage was blessed through them both being celibate for a time frame FYI, I do not call it celibacy no more. I call it waiting until marriage, abstaining, okay? I'm not like Paul, y'all. I can't do it lifelong, okay? No, I'm just playing, y'all. But yes, um, so um, abstaining is a good thing. You know, it's a good thing. Number one, you ain't got to worry about STDs. You know, it's a really blessed life. It's a really blessed life. And you really feel really good about yourself. Um, You feel good about yourself because you ain't got nobody mistreating you. When you give somebody your body, whether you be a woman or man and they mistreat you or it's not healthy that is that will tear you down mentally emotionally and spiritually so be wise out here y'all i love y'all have a blessed day and just know waiting will bless your marriage waiting will bless your marriage try and do things god's ways he's no we not he knows we're not perfect nor we will we ever be i love y'all keep going Thank <laughs> you.